What do I want to say this morning? So Sandy and I had slipped into St. John's. Well, we tried to get in a little bit early because we had to get out early because I have pressing farm business here that I've been working away at. So just as we got out of St. John's, Newfoundland, it started to snow. And I'm hearing from locals within the area that they received 60 centimeters of snow in the St. John's area, 90 click winds, straight off the ocean from the Northwest. Flights canceled. The CHC executive is stuck. Pretty much everybody there is stuck. They even had trouble uh, conducting or getting everybody to their meetings apparently to finish off uh, all the activities and such. So much snow. And they're still there actually. It's Sunday morning right now and I'm not sure if they're going to get out today or not. I hope so. So Sandy and I got out by the skin of her teeth. But for all the places to be storm state, I think that would be a place to be. But I don't know how in the world would those guys navigate those crazy streets with 60 centimeters of snow sitting on top? I don't even know how they'd clear them. There's no place to put the snow. The only way I could see is to, for them to let it melt away. It just seems like an unachievable feat. I am so glad I'm not having to drive those streets with snow and ice. I'm telling you, they're steep. There's nothing straight. They just kind of go everywhere. I don't even, <clears throat> I've tried my hardest to navigate through St. John's using Google Maps and I was making wrong turns everywhere. Thank goodness the locals are patient to some degree, but boy, oh boy. Ah, it's good to be back. The opportunity to be properly screeched was something, it's something I'm never, ever going to forget. I heard after my presentation on uh, Thursday in front of a room full of uh, Newfoundland beekeepers, I was like a deer in a headlight. I, I just, a little bit overwhelmed and I could not understand a word the guy was saying and I did not know how to respond to it. So I just kind of stood there like an idiot. And maybe that is the intention, but my goodness. And then to follow through with kissing the cod is something, it's, it's the most unusual thing, but he brought the backstory behind it before we did. And I said, this is, this is impressive. And a shot of screech and become honorary Newfoundlanders genuinely proceeded through that process amongst fellow peers. I feel quite honored. Sandy and I are quite humbled by the whole experience. And it's something I just cannot explain and truly appreciate. And man, I want to get back there. Having to leave a little bit early, wanting to head back to take in more of the sight scenery and the culture and the beekeepers. That's, that's good. I mean, hats off, boys.